That's it, keep pushing. I can see the head. Last push. It's a boy. Well done. Stick to the routine, I'll be safe. As long as I always be here. Stay in our rooms, I'll be safe. As long as I don't go outside, I'll be safe. That's it. Good boy. <coughs> what time is it? We do time, Mum. Yes.
I can check my radiation level with the dosimeter. Radiation is just over 70 mR. That's acceptable. Bunker radiation is normal. Good. Hmm. I need to choose dinner. Peas and carrots, I suppose. So that makes 27 years, three months and 14 days of food left. drawing I did for Mum. It's reading time. We had a dreary morning's work before us, but there were no sign of any wind, and the boats had gone out and manned, and the ship wrapped three or four miles around the corner of the island and up around the narrow passages to the haven behind Skeleton Island. I volunteered for one of the boats where I had. Radiation is nearly ATMR. It's increasing.
27 years, 3 months and 13 days left. We had a dreary morning's work before us, but there were no sign of any wind, and the boats had gone out and manned, and the ship wrapped three or four miles around the corner of the island and up around the narrow passages to the haven behind Skeleton Island. I volunteered for one of the boats where I had. Radiation is over 80 MR. Where's the manual? I don't know what to do. If I find the manual, I can fix this. I need to find that manual. My old diary. Today it is my birthday and I have had extra peaches, my favourite, and there was a candle. Mum gave me this book and some pens. Look, here are the colours. Vera sang me a ring a ring of roses. She said she was crying because she is happy it's my birthday. And then she and PJ and Louie and Mum sang me happy birthday, but not too loud. I blew out the candle. This book is going to be my book about my friends. Today I will start a new friend. He will look like this. He will be a soldier because I have a general, but I need a bigger army. I've got a block from the map room, but I had to hide. Mr. Bishop was there. He nearly saw me. He was shouting. He says I am a waste. I think he is a waste. I will make the soldier and Mr. Churchill and Joan of Arc will tell him to fight Mr. Bishop. We had ham today. It is sort of pink and sticky. It is better than sardines, which are the worst. Mum has made my knife sharper so I can finish off doing my soldier. She says Rocky was the best at winning fights, so that's his name. I finished Rocky, so here are all my friends. My underwear drawer. The manual.
Find the fuse box level 2. Find the fuse box level 2. Mum. I need to find the fuse box on level 2. Don't need to change. I'm not sure I can do this. I'm not hungry. I don't need the toilet right now. I'm not hungry. Date, 4th of July, 96. Patient's name, Vera Taylor. Patient reports headache from Monday a.m., vomiting and diarrhea Wednesday. Also cough with occasional blood. Intermittent bowel pain, increasing pain in chest, temperature fluctuating, peaks at 100.5 degrees. Blood present in feces. Conclusions. Patient showing signs of radiation sickness. Plan. Sick base day, white blood count test, monitor. Potassium iodide, 130 milligrams orally per day for four days. Review, possible DTPA course. Notes taken by Evelyn Jones. Blood. The map lights up if there's a leak. That door only opens in an emergency. I need to fix the fuse. She liked it when I read to her.
the key. Now I have to leave. I remember drawing these. Taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it well. out. Fourteen months, at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Dr. Hart. On bare minimum, we might make fourteen. And bare minimum means? I didn't like to press him, but scurvy, rickets. Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One it's... whiff of this and you'll have your throat slit over the last tin of peaches. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? Fighting over scraps? We could just cut your wrist now and the rest of us will split your rations. Chin up, man. It's ten minutes until the next bulletin.
when the four minute warning came, I was on the phone to him. And he said he'd got a place in one of the Berkshire bunkers, but I don't know which one. If he's with you, and his wife, his wife's name is Sarah. John, if you're there, or if anyone has any news on him, please let me know. Communication from Bunker HQ, Site 3, Corsham, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in, shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? Trust me, you get sent to this sardine tin. Prime Minister unsatisfied with living accommodation. Twat. Other. Civilian casualties noted outside bunker. Group of 50 attempted to breach rear exit blast door. Aggressive action not required. Activity ceased after blast. Poor bastards. With the greatest respect, sir, we've been up all night. It's been 10 minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is I've... it radiation I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under 10 tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. <sighs> we'll run some tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes, six others. Quarantine them right away. Mom? It's all right. Come here, love. What's the matter? I can't sleep. It's all right. You know if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. Let me put a tick. I don't like it here. Commissioner. There's nothing I need here.
Testing. One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three. Attention. The mains power is about to be switched off for maintenance purposes. I've already done that. Well, let's say, for example, the hit on Reading was one megaton. That would mean we have this radius, only halfway to Basingstoke. Now, maybe that looks small, but that's around 100,000 fatalities. Maybe 80,000 injuries from the blast and the fireball. That's just to start with. Prevailing wind direction here is northeast. Fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely to drift all the way out past Cambridge, past Norwich even, out to sea. The total number of casualties? Unimaginable. And that's one bomb. AB welcomes. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks the committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern. No need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. Calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. CB reiterates appointed hierarchy and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Request send to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. CB says vote will be ignored. Not a democracy. Meeting ended. Locate replacement fuse. He 
as a replacement. Replace damaged fuse. I can switch the power back on now. Place fuse, perform systems check. What do I do? I need to find an NBC suit.
the war room. Soldier. Today, you're going to be the bunny, or I'm going to bomb your home. So out with it. What couldn't you tell me yesterday? There's no hope for any of them. I... I don't know. It's not radiation poisoning. The water's clean, the air is clean. It's not the food. And yet the symptoms... I can't shake the feeling that someone is up to something. Damn it, George. You don't have time for your fantasies. You need to figure this out with facts. We don't know where this thing comes from, or how it will spread. We have no cause, we have no cure. We just don't have the resources to deal with it. There is no help. There is no cavalry. There's just us. So get yourself together and fix this, do you understand me? What's that? Cooling system. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bishop, I'm, I'm just on edge. This place, it's full of ghosts. I used to pinch these blocks to make my toys. This door only opens in an emergency.
Filtration unit check, day 18th of October 95, 1611, checked by PJT. Main filtration unit running OK, cleaned out and replaced filters. Check back up just to be sure, readings are a bit high, but Frank says no need to replace at the moment. Probably just as well, I'm concerned about our stock level of filters for the main unit. We're chewing through them a lot faster than Spec says due to higher outdoor red than expected. Frank says he'll have a word with Bishop about stocks and sorting out the backup longer term. PJ.
think I could use these to fix the unit. need to turn the pressure valve back on. the engineer. Accident report, date 12th of August 92, 1910, filed by F. Hurley. Ran scheduled test of backup filtration unit, rad levels way too high on output, over 500 rem, red lights across the board. Thought it was a duff filter, tried a new one. Same. Sacrificed a Geiger. Stuck it on a rod and ran it round inside the casing. We've got contaminated dust clogging the lower X duct. God knows how it got in. Might be a hairline, or maybe the filter just couldn't cope with the levels being so much higher than we expected. This is really, really bad. Without taking this apart, cleaning, resealing, and decontaminating the whole thing, it's useless. We have no backup air filtration system. I can't see how we can do it. We don't have a clean space to do this in. Bishop just shrugs pretty much. Keep it quiet, Frank. You'll only worry people. For fuck's sake. What else isn't he telling us?
Bleeding, diarrhea, liver failure, it's got to be. It can't be radiation sickness. Look, these. Of course it can. This place probably leaks like a sieve. It was built by the lowest bidder. No one thought there'd be a real war. I know Bishop said that we'll be safe here, but honestly, George, do you believe him? I'm sorry. No, don't worry. We've all been under a lot of pressure. Margaret. Where's the Lindane ointment? Look there, top left. You and Evelyn had it for Mrs. Harrison. Yes, but there were two unopened bottles there on Monday. We, we have to keep on top of the stop. We can't have... What is it? Nothing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you. 
Exploring. Oh, John. I want that door sealed shut immediately. For Christ's sake, Margaret. Keep your little shit in his quarters before he explores the wrong place and gets us all killed. Seal that door immediately!
PJ, please put the oxy tanks back in the cupboard and lock it when you're done with the weld. I don't need Bishop on my back about this as well. Be sparing with fuel. We'll need to cut ourselves out again someday, God willing. This is overkill and a waste of oxy, but we'll keep him happy. Well, if happy is something he's capable of. Frank. been able to take some proper readings from the RA14 sensors. They show we have a range of 700 to 1,000 rads for anyone exposed to the atmosphere. What, what does it mean? Well, anything over 200 rads can be fatal. No. How long before it's safe to go back up? Our best guess. 20 to 30 years. Yes. Sam? Can we last that long? Do we have enough food? Yes, you... Y yes, it'll, it'll be all right. We may have to ration a little, but it'll be all right. Mom? It's all right, darling. Everything's going to be fine.
this way. Why would I give you a way out, Margaret? You and the little rat are not going to leave. You're not going anywhere. We're all gonna die down here. John, no!
killed him. must be in cold storage. As long as I'm here, I'll look after you. Nothing can hurt us now. Yes, Mom. I love you, John. I need the code.
Come on. Come on. Wrong one. What key is it? Come on! Keep moving! Mom? 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 Mom?